So uh, a while ago, I remember you posting in in uh, your Facebook group that you were going to go into the astral planes and uh, investigate the concept of anger. Yes, and, and this has led me in a major wild goose chase. Okay, so because I don't think you put out a video on that. No, I'm st it's still in the works because it's not like a lot of times what will happen when you go out of this dimension and you go and looking for specific information like that is it's very clear cut. So it's like, well, yeah, okay, I should have probably prioritized this a long time ago because it's very straightforward. And then you come back, you teach it, and it's like, oh, why didn't I realize that before, you know? That's not the case with anger, ironically. Anger is turning out to be a much more complicated thing than I realized, and there are multiple different perspectives within the universe, and so I'm, I'm weighing them and leveraging them out, basically, at this point. Interesting. Well, that's definitely going to be a very fascinating uh, video or whatever, when, whenever you put it out. Yes. yes. Um, well, can I tell you one of the issues? Yeah, great. The higher that you go in into the different dimensions, the more the concept of morality starts to dwindle. So you can't really look at the concept of anger without also looking at the concept of revenge. Now, our idea about revenge obviously depends upon our, our social ideals. And if we're trying to uphold um, a, so, a type of social structure, then revenge does not fit into the social structure well. But in the higher level dimensions, there is no such thing as social structure. And so whatever is good for an individual is good for everyone. So I'm running into a massive disagreement. And it gets this, it gets this extreme, right? Now, a person who has been raised in a group where they've been socialized, that means we're looking to create a common peace, right? Basically, the idea of revenge doesn't benefit you, right? When you reach a perspective that's that high, that you know, it, the, all of our human understandings just go right out the window. So, so that's the issue with anger. But I'm going to figure out how to convey it, or at least rectify the issue, so that I can convey it in a nice way. But I haven't done it yet, so that's why you haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I think of anger as outwardly projected fear. Oh, and definitely, that's that's decided. Yeah, the the issue that's not decided is what to do about the anger so much. I mean, I've got some suggestions, but there's also a lot of deliberation going on currently between people who are not embodied about about the appropriate course of action. But you're absolutely accurate. Did I just solve your problem or create more problems? <laughs> that, give, that gives. I'd say neither. That gives that gives some insights on it, and I'm definitely going to be, uh, you know, very curious to hear. You know what further you have to, um, uh, you know, to, to convey on that. And I've I've done a number of issues. I mean, a number number of videos on on the topic. And you know, basically, I think that's one of those one of those base things that yep. that I think of it kind of like puking. But it's like it's it's one of those things you just have to get it out and get it over with, and then you can move on. But as long as you hold it in, then you're gonna you know feel sick. That, that is the number one question, basically, that people have and that I have for everybody, basically, is, is like, how do you deal with anger? Like, we can understand what anger is, but what do you do with it? Because it's, it seems like most of our, our techniques, like smacking pillows and stuff, just, it doesn't take the edge off it, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, you, you, have to, you, ha you have to get to the heart of the... Uh the emotion and the, you know, the real, <laughs> as I said, the, the, the bullet at the, you know, yes. at, the depth, at the depths of your consciousness. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Well, people can uh, keep their eyes open for, for what you have to say on that later.